Hello everyone, today we are going to be discussing a Star Wars theory about The Mandalorian Season 3 that I cannot get out of my head since watching Season 2 Episode 8, The Rescue of Mandalorian this morning. This is not a spoiler free video, so if you have not yet watched The Mandalorian Season 2 finale, pause the video, go watch it, and then return here for this theory. In this episode, we get to see Din aka Mando on his quest to save the child from Moff Gideon aboard his light cruiser. He was accompanied by Bo Katan. In episode 3 of this season, Bo was already on a search for Moff Gideon because he was in possession of the Darksaber. At this point we still have no clue as to how, when, or why he has it. Considering the last time we saw the Darksaber, it was in the possession of Bo Katan in Star Wars Rebels. In the newest episode, Moff Gideon gets into a battle with Mando and is defeated by Mando and his pure Beskar staff that he acquired in Season 2, Episode 5 by Ahsoka Tano when she defeated Morgan Elsbeth. Gideon knew that if Din defeated him in a battle, the Darksaber would now be his and Bo-Katan would have to win it from him in battle. My theory at this point in time is that Mando will at some point in Season 3 fight Bo-Katan. Now, I do not believe either of them will die at the hands of the other one, but I personally believe that we will go back to Mandalore, and a large group of Mandalorians will all return. Bo-Katan, Din, possibly the Mandalorian group, the Tribe, who were the group that was hiding on Navarro in Mandalorian Season 1. Possibly even Sabine Wren. Now, before you start typing in the comments that the Tribe is all dead, we know that if they were all murdered, then the armorer would have also been killed. Considering even in the final episode of The Mandalorian Season 1, we saw stormtroopers ask her where Mando and the others were at. So with that being said, I believe they are still alive, and there are so many other Mandalorians who have been in hiding, and could come in Season 3. At that point, I believe most of the Mandalorians will look to Din as their leader, considering he is the one wielding the Darksaber, and then he will be challenged by Bo-Katan. Personally, I believe Din will purposely lose and give up the Darksaber to Bo-Katan without being killed. Now, this leads, I mean, there's so many possibilities to what could go on from this point. Knowing that Bo-Katan in the episode seemed very upset that Mando is the one that won it from her, and she wouldn't take the Darksaber from him, which was a little bit, I mean, I understand it, but at the same, it opens up a lot of doors for potential episodes of Season 3. That's just my personal opinion. In the next video, guys, I'm going to be doing another theory video about Ahsoka Tano. So go ahead and subscribe if you are new. And go ahead and subscribe if you are excited for that video. I have so many other theory videos planned as well as breakdowns, trailers, etc. And videos coming about the new upcoming Disney projects. Let me know what you thought of this theory down below in the comment section. Let me know what theory you would like to see in the next video. And until next time, may the force be with you.